there are three major variants. The major variants are called cutaneous follicular lymphoma, cutaneous marginal zone lymphoma, and cutaneous diffuse large B-cell lymphoma leg type. These are the primary cutaneous B-cell lymphomas. Of course, the skin can also be affected by systemic B-cell lymphomas that spread secondary to the skin. There are various markers that come into play. There are various um, immune cells that also uh, within the infiltrate that make up the diagnosis. We using morphology and we using special stains to further define the subtype. The different tr variants of cutaneous B-cell lymphoma are treated on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, the treatments are tailored to the individual based on the presentation, based on what the skin biopsy shows, and based on other factors such as uh, age and other illnesses associated with the individual. Treatment of cutaneous B-cell lymphoma uh, usually involves skin-based treatments. So what patients can expect is that the area of involvement to the skin is treated either surgically or with radiation. So that just a, f a small area of the skin tends to be treated and usually that is enough for the eradication of the cutaneous B-cell lymphoma. Although the incidence of systemic involvement of B-cell lymphoma uh, is rare with cutaneous B-cell lymphoma, all patients will require some type of workup from blood work, maybe scans, to ensure that the B-cell lymphoma is just confined to the skin. Once that is established, treatment choices are made, and typically those treatment choices are skin-directed and just focused on the local area of its skin involvement. The slower-growing variants of cutaneous B-cell lymphoma are treated more locally, unless there's many, many of them, in which case local treatment would be hard, it would be very tedious, and at that time we would usually treat with a drug called rituximab, which is a, an antibody, not a chemotherapy, that will kill off B lymphocytes and, and B lymphomas. In the case of the faster growing cutaneous B cell lymphomas, um, we would often consider chemotherapy, uh, although there's some other newer treatments that are on the horizon. If the treatments are local, they're not gonna involve uh, very much discomfort. Uh, they won't involve any distant side effects. The, the, whatever side effects there would be would be just at the skin. So as an example, if a lesion has radiation therapy, the skin in that area may get a little red or irritated, but it will be limited to just the area that's being treated. Um, and they can expect that the lesions should go away. They're very easily treatable. Um, they can also expect that they may get other lesions and that they'll similarly have to be treated. But still, the patient does very, very well, um, even though lesions may return. Follicular lymphoma is usually um, more common on the head and face area, while marginal zone lymphoma is usually more often on the extremities, arms, legs, and trunk. That's very critical that you have the correct diagnosis, because different um, differ between the follicular, the marginal zone, and the diffuse large B-cell leg type. While follicular lymphoma and marginal, marginal zone lymphoma have an excellent prognosis, the treatment is most mostly skin-directed, meaning local, local radiation, injection with steroids such as Kenalog, um, and or excision. The diffuse large B-cell lymphoma leg type is more aggressive. And therefore, we need to start um, earlier with systemic therapy. And in many centers, we treat a co combination with systemic uh, chemotherapy, antibody such as rituxin, and <clears throat> radiation.